Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm going to be opening a yarn unboxing. This is 100% Angora Rabbit yarn. I did mention on my uh, one of my videos just last month, uh, month of May 2023, I was knitting a 100% Angora Rabbit shrug. It was the pink color and it was an old vintage or I don't know what how to say that vintage but never been used it was in a cone I purchased from a seller who had it from uh, her the mother-in-law which who passed away and uh, it's really hard to find good great quality angora rabbit yarn so i started to spin my own yarn but um it doesn't give me that fluffiness it gives a different texture so um yeah i've been getting lots of requests for bridal shrug so i thought to myself let me contact sandra her name is sandra she's a distributor in in the in the usa uh they bring it from France and she sells them but you have to buy in bulk like you cannot buy individual you have to well if you buy individual it would be more expensive if you buy in boxes she gives you gives you a discount um, if you have any questions please message me so I will give you the information I just don't want to put this out here the where am I buying it from but uh, I will show you the yarn and um, I did pay, cu pay custom fee because I live in Canada I paid sixty four dollars and fifty cents ouch <laughs> here we go sixty four dollars and fifty cents so this cost me about thirteen hundred so about four boxes there's ten in each box and they're a hundred percent on Gore Rabbit and here is the receipt that I paid $64.50. Yeah. What can you do? I can't find this yarn here in Canada, so I have no choice. I have to order it where I can find it. Okay, I want to give you this information. I will, uh, I saw this gorgeous yarn in February. It was a cone, about 200 gram of brown, 100% Angora Rabbit yarn. So I kept on watching, it's, it hasn't been sold. So as soon as uh, I have the funds available, I purchased it. I purchased this and I purchased that. And then it was through eBay and her name is Helena, Helena. She's a scammer. I just couldn't believe it. So I purchased the next day. She messaged me. No, actually, two, three days later, she messaged me saying, well, hey, she has a broken English. The way that she wrote down, I sold this ages ago. I don't have this. But she purchased a sh shipping label. So she paid. She purchased a tracking number. So you have to be very careful who you buy yarn from. And then she messaged me. In her message, it said, I will refund you four days passed, five days passed, nothing. So I messaged her, why are you not uh, refunding me? So automatically I tried to get a hold of eBay. It's totally changed. I opened my eBay account way back in the 2000s and I haven't been buying, I would say five, five years maybe through eBay because I, I couldn't find, you know, I could go to their own line online. They have their own online, like Ice Yarn, other uh, yarn sellers, they have their own line. So I go and buy it from them instead of going through eBay. Why, right? They're going to get a commission probably. And then nothing. So uh, I couldn't get a hold of eBay. So I got a hold of PayPal and then PayPal is there's a de deadline till June 12th. I have to wait. Okay, she doesn't have the product. It's a ghost product. <laughs> she, uh, she bought a uh, tracking number and it's sitting there since the 21st that it looks like she created the label. And, she, and then she messaged me two days ago saying, I'm going to uh, subtract a shipping fee from you. And I'm thinking, Oh, she is a scammer, and I I never checked her review, and then I she I see that she already has two. Automatically, I left a review, so now she has three 
ghost products that she's trying to ship sell so she sell me the product that already she just posted pictures and then acting like she already had it the product the yarn but she didn't Ballinger that that was the yarn and it was just beautiful I thought I could knit a perfect medium size large size cardigan with that yarn 200 is perfect so uh I have to wait for to get my money back I could have gone to my credit card department my credit card provider but um I, why would I do that because I used PayPal right I used the second I didn't pay it directly through eBay you know providing a credit card so never ever going to buy from eBay that's the end for me I might close my account I don't know okay let's open this yarn and see I want to show you how the quality is because I've been getting lots of messages where do you buy your yarn and I'm trying to explain you cannot buy uh, from this distributor distribute uh, distributors that uh, they sell wholesale they sell in bulk like you know you have to pay so much money to get a discount or else it's, it's pretty expensive yeah and and I don't see this brand selling everywhere it's uh yeah so um she did a perfect packaging thank you Anne. i will send you this uh, video and uh so uh, i did buy from her a couple of years ago i still have the 70 percent ivory uh angora rabbit that's why i went with the 100 percent because i'm out with 100 percent and I needed the, I have lots of 70%, 90%, 80% Gore Rabbit, but not the 100. And uh, lots of customers are going for the 100. I am going to start to spin. Oh, I was supposed to message this uh, lady that I buy fiber from. I never had the chance because it gives, make, makes a big mess. And I don't have room here. I have my sewing machine, my knitting machine, and my ash spinning wheel here and I don't have room to spin so I was thinking of doing it outdoors but it's pretty hot outside yeah so I'm cutting I'm cutting yeah so if you're going to buy yarn be, read the reviews I always read the reviews but I've been watching this e from uh, from February like months and I was wondering how come no one's buying <laughs> and I fall into the trap yeah I looked her reviews were pretty good but you don't see the negatives until you go into her page okay so I ordered white and ivory okay here it is she nicely packs a packing slip so I ordered Angora Prestige. Prestige. She has different names. Like she doesn't say 100% Angora Rabbit. She has Prestige and then with the 70% she has different. So for the pure white, I think it's blank. Annie Blade Angora Prestige uh, bl uh, 50 is the number. So I bought 20 of that, 20 of the natural and 40 cost. I need to figure out my uh, expense so I might need to increase my uh, prices because I haven't increased since 2011 since this got popular bridal thread okay, so this is pure white it depends I get lots of pure white orders I get ivory orders and uh, it really depends on the customer okay, she used to uh, Send these in boxes. This time she sent it in bags. So. Okay, uh, let me just open. So it's called Any Any Blade. That's the name of the yarn. Okay, let me just open this. Yeah, it's it's really thin. I think it's it got thinner than it used to. I have to compare the ones that I have. I think I have one or two balls left. Yeah, it, 
It's getting very hard, you know. It, 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 it's, supposed to, it, it's supposed to be getting easier, you know, the years pass by. But no, the more it's getting harder to find. Even I had to go to the post office to pay the duty. They, we used to pay it at the door, so, you know, they're making it harder than it used to. So this is white. This is pure white. I hope it's not showing backwards. Uh, here it is. 25 gram. I had five uh, customers request, but they haven't paid me yet. So I said to myself, the time they order, I will receive the yarn. Because it takes uh, a week to arrive and a week to, for her to, so uh, for, for me to pay and so on. Okay, so 100% uh, Angora. It's called Angora Prestige. Blank, 50 is the number, 25 gram. So the thing is, this is really thin. Like, it's, uh, it used to be worsed yarn. So I need to use a helper. So what I do is I add uh, some of the Angora Rabbit yarn that I have. Maybe I have 50% Angora Rabbit or 80%, it depends. I just need to find the thickness to make this uh, work because otherwise it would be very thin. And when it's thin, the feel of the fabric is not that good quality. So I have to work with it to create that uh, uh, that quality, you know what I mean? So uh, I need this needs a helper, but the old ones, I didn't need a helper. <laughs> So, and it's 100% Angora. It should be strong, but you never know. Let me just try to pull, give you an idea. See, it is strong because these are specially made, right? Yeah, so uh, these come from France. You cannot order direct from them. I don't know why. They're selling yarn, but fortunately you need to buy it. And Sandra is the only one who sells for, through for America continent. Yeah, you have to buy it through her. Because I searched and I searched. And uh, she's the lady. She's pretty nice. I haven't met her in person, of course. But uh, yeah, so uh, as soon as I get paid with the customers, I'm just going to count to four, eight, ten. I think. I'm just going to recount. So I counted the whites. They're white. Yeah, there are 20, 20 of them. And then, so, this, can you see the fluffy with the bag? It's getting electric and it's just pulling up. So this is ivory. And I counted just to show you the color. So this just to show you the difference. It's see, can you see? Yeah, it's really hard to see. Yeah. Yeah, the thickness, I'm a little bit disappointed. Yeah, I'm just gonna double check with uh, the one that I already have and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, I, I found a bag of 100% pure white. So I had about one, two, three, four of them. Four, I could have knit one, but it, it really depends. So, uh, can you see it's more white? Sandra, it's more white. <laughs> the ones that I bought from you before. See, it's pure white. Wow. Yeah. Oh, well, it's still white. But uh, if I had to knit this with this, then it, there would be a color difference, right? So that's another thing. And uh, this one was 100% as well. 
just to check. Uh, I can't remember. 2018, did I buy it? Yeah. Time flies by. Yeah. And, uh, I will just add those here. And I'm just looking for the thickness. So this is the old one. And this is the new one. It's a tint. It's, it's not even, yeah, it's not that bad. But I did knit, yeah, if you look at this way. See, that's what I'm saying. Old yarns are way better than new ones. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I have been going through. So uh, it's really nice. I really like it. So um, as soon as I get my orders, I will start knitting for them. How much I paid? Um, it's $25 American, but if you buy in bulk, you get a discount. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you need any, just let me know. I, do, I have other brands as well in my stash that I have been hoarding. And uh, when I get a custom orders, I start knitting right away. Yeah. And uh, three, four days, I finish a small size and I ship it Monday, Tuesday. So they receive it in a week. <laughs> So uh, I just wanted to share you this gorgeous yarn. It's one of the beautiful yarns that I've been uh, dealing with. This is ivory and white. I get custom orders for pink as well. Red, red, it's, you can't find red in 100%. It's really rare. If you find it, grab it. Yeah, you guys take care. I just wanted to share this uh, yarn unboxing. It is pretty pricey, but uh, it's, it's for the customers, not for me. I wouldn't knit for myself. Uh, I do have other colors that I purchased for myself, um, like apple green. I want to knit something, but I'm just trying to find that perfect, perfect pattern stitch so I can start with it. But other than that, these are for my customers. Yeah, I bought 40 of this, so 40, 20 white and 20 ivory. And I have four more of the white. So, uh, yeah, this will, for a small size, like I said, this yarn is thinner than uh, the, the one I knit for Made in France again. The name, the name keeps on changing, Balaguer or uh, Nora or uh, Maxi, Mary Maxim's Order. So I have uh, those pink ones that I have, have to sit down and knit, but I'm just looking for the perfect pattern. Uh, usually I knit top down, so I do have a new uh, top down that I want to show you how to knit. Uh, I'm going to knit it with you. It's in my mind. I am working on it. I haven't wrote anything yet, but stay tuned for that if you are interested. Uh, my live stream, stream is tomorrow, but I wanted to show this, but I didn't want to squeeze in this doing the yarn unboxing on live stream, right? We are, normally I talk about finished item, whips, what I purchased for the month of May, and then so on. So I did not want to squeeze this into the video for tomorrow. Yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share with your family and friends, and don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time post, I post a new video, you will be notified indicating there's something new for you to watch. You guys take care. Happy knitting. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.